Hello from around the world. So what do we have today? We have this uh, open view satellite receiver that came in for repair. This is coming from a local customer. And what the customer say, he's saying this decoder just went off. It's not anyone. Huh? This is a common fault these days. This kind of satellite receiver, they are dying many times. So the power supply is in 12 volts, 1.5 amps. Which is the right color, which is the right current. So without wasting time, let's plug the power supply and see if this is working or not. Plug in the power supply. Oh, you see, there's it's taking maximum current and there's voltage drop to zero volts. That means here we have a short to ground. Um, the resistance is very low. This can be a capacitor. Hmm? It's most likely to be a capacitor. You can see all these seals, they are properly inserted. So it means uh, no one opened this before. Uh, so let's get inside and see what can be the problem. I'm sure this has to be a quick repair. I don't expect this to be a very long repair because we want to go straight to the problem. Okay. So that the inside. Uh, let's go under microscope and see together. So that the charging port. We have the charging port here. We have this external diode. And this diode can be the problem because it's preventing uh, any excessive current or a voltage into the motherboard. In most cases, in most cases that diode is going on short. So let's check this diode. And the diode is beeping. Okay, let's inspect the motherboard. Maybe the shot is after the diode. Let's have a look on this motherboard. Here we have another diode here. Here we have uh, some kind of corrosion. I think here's the problem. I think the problem, you can see this capacitor, this one. Let me put the micro, microscope. Yeah, this capacitor. Let's clean this. If we can do the cleaning, let's see. I have too much suspicious about this capacitor. The one which is which has got some some greeny things. I don't think this capacitor is good anymore. But let's clean. So, let's see, you see this capacitor, I think that is our problem, I want to replace this capacitor before I go any further, 
You know, I just have that feeling that this capacitor is not good. You know that kind of feeling? Let's replace the capacitor. Let's see this area properly. I want to test this capacitor, but there's no point to test. That capacitor is gone. Uh, this capacitor is dead. Uh, we need to clean and put another capacitor there. And that capacitor is connected only 12 volts power line. So in most cases, uh, the capacitor is dying so easily. Good. Let's come with the, another capacitor. The value of the capacitor, we don't know, but you can check. Though you know those ceramic capacitor on depth of motherboards connected on the 90 volts power line. That's the one which I'm replacing with here. Because I know that one for sure has got a higher value as compared to this, this capacitor. So we'll be safe. Oh, my capacitor. Where is my capacitor? The capacitor is now in place. Uh, what you can do is to check here. Let's check again on that diode. And the short is gone. There's no more short anymore. Because well, this side is ground. This side is plus. So the problem was that capacitor. That was a simple one. Huh? That was a simple repair. So let's test. Let's test. Let's test. Plug in the power supply. It's taking 104 and we have green light. You see the green light? Let's come with the HDMI and see if you can find something on the screen. Let's pay attention to the screen. Maybe we can see something. Uh, you see, it's working. Huh? Uh, so that's that's the the easiest way to fix a satellite receiver. Huh? Let's plug, let's disconnect the power. Let's plug the power again and see 
Yeah, just to test one more time. Yeah, the April my C is trying to reload some settings, so you have to, to wait. Now the screen the screen is black. Uh, I'm expecting to see the open view. You see open view, and it's trying to to detect some channels, but because there's no signal from the satellite dish, so we don't have any channel there. So. That was the repair. That was the repair. And this is the most common fault on this satellite receiver. You see water damage, sometimes it's stuck on red light. But uh, yeah, that's the, that was the repair for today. So like, subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates. And if you have anything that you don't understand or you wish to, 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 to make your own suggestion, the channel is free to everyone. Just leave a comment and I'll try to, 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 to answer you in the next video. See you on the next one. Bye.